It's been not quite a week and a half since fire claimed the life of a mother and her two young children here. What remains? A shell of their house and a lot of support from their community. Today, faith and a sorrow-filled song surround this man, Chris Abbott. What else can you say to a husband and father who has lost almost everything? Lord, words are hard to come up with. Chris was not home on the evening of November 22nd. Dozens of firefighters fought for hours here, trying to subdue the flames. But for my two babies, they had no chance. <laughs> Once the fire was out, crews found the lifeless bodies of six-month-old John Ryan and 18-month-old Haley Lynn. Their mother, Chris's wife, escaped the inferno, but died from her injuries days later. The doctors at Wisher Hospital did all they could. They couldn't do any more. Her organs were shutting down. And she went in that house, she tried to save my kids, and for that she lost her own life. You know, she did what any mother should do. That mother did manage to get out with that scene's sole survivor, Chris's five-year-old daughter. And he struggles to find the words that will help her. And she asks about her mom, and I tell her she's, she's with Jesus now. I mean, I just, what do you tell a five-year-old? For now, this group tells her with a faithful prayer and a sorrow-filled song. Because right now, what else can you say? Chance Walser, RTV6. The funeral service for the Abbott family will be held Saturday at the Crossing Church in Nineveh. Public visitation will be from noon to 1 p.m.